Hi, it's Mr. Anderson, and this is AP Environmental Sciences. Video 26, it's on hydroelectric power, which is power created by the movement of water. If we look back in 1980 at the world leader in hydroelectric power, it was the United States, followed quickly by Canada, nearly 300 billion kilowatt hours being produced mostly by dams. If we look what's happened over the last 35 years, however, we see a new country emerge, China. And the reason why is the Three Gorges Dam. It's the largest dam on our planet, and they hope to produce produce up to 10% of their electricity needs from this one dam alone. And so what is hydroelectric power? It's power through the movement of water. And we call it renewable. And the reason why is it's really the sun. The sun is evaporating the water. It's moving up. And as it falls down again, we can move that water through a turbine in most of the systems and we can generate some electricity. The major types we'll talk about are the run of the river systems. Instead of having a dam, they simply have a turbine on the river itself. So as the water flows, they can generate electricity. We have tidal systems and we're starting to bring on wave systems and so as the water moves back and forth we can generate energy. And then finally we have the most famous type, the water impoundment system or the dam. So we essentially take a river, we build a wall on it and we can trap the water behind it. Now we can regulate when we let the water out and when we let the water flow through the turbines to generate electricity. And so what is what are some of the advantages of these hydroelectric systems? We can reduce the amount of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Now a lot of it's going to be produced as we're producing the dam, but once it's going, it's really cheap to maintain. If we look at flood control, we can also regulate how much water is moving down, especially in an impoundment system. And then you're creating a lake, so you can rec create a recreation system that can be used. What are some of the disadvantages? Well, these things fill in over time. So as the water flows into the impoundment system, it drops the silt, and that's gonna fill it up with solid material. So we either have to remove that material or we remove the dam. They're also limited. So if we look in the US, we've pretty much used all the viable places to have dams in our country. And since it's disrupting flow, it's disrupting natural flow of the river and anything that moves in the river, for example, spawning fish. And so how does this work? Well, if you're un if you're familiar with the water cycle, you really know what's going on. We have evaporation, condensation, precipitation, and runoff. And as the water is running off, we're capturing that energy of the flowing water. We could also have tidal systems. So as the moon pulls on the, on the water on our planet and moves the water back and forth, we can generate a little bit of energy there as well. First type I want to talk about is the run of the river system. Now this is not a dam. It looks like a dam. It's just a very wide river. And so as the water runs through it, it's generating electricity. What are some of the nice things about this? We're not going to have that siltation problem, but the problem is that it's only going to be generating electricity when the water is actually flowing. In an impoundment system, what we have is a dam. We have a huge wall and then we we just have a reservoir behind it. So we have a bunch of water behind it. As the water is let through, it can generate electricity as it moves down to the river. And so you can see we have a huge amount of potential energy on that side. And if you look at the size of that Three Gorges Dam, you can just start to imagine how much electricity can actually be generated. We also have tidal systems. So in a tidal system, the water is moving back and forth at the, as the tides come in and out. And so if we lower this down, we can generate electricity. We've also got a turbine in there as well. What are the advantages? Well, if we look at the Grand Coulee Dam, which is the largest concrete structure that's ever been made on our planet, it's in Washington state. Some of the advantages, it's a renewable form of energy. So the sun is actually generating the lifting of the water. And as it flows down, we can tap some of that energy. We can then use the water to irrigate crops in the uh, nearby areas. Um, this is an area that was actually plagued by floods in the past. And so one of the reasons they put the Grand Coulee Dam there was to flood control. Didn't really work, so they had to work with other dams in Canada to actually do that. We've created a giant reservoir behind here and a recreation area that can be used. And then finally, these are not carbon dioxide producers. We can reduce our carbon dioxide emissions by running more hydroelectric power. What are some disadvantages? Like everything, incredibly expensive to build um, and maintain. Um, they destroy everything that was there before. So this used to be a river that flowed up here. And so you're displacing humans. You're uh, covering up a lot of the Native American tribal areas as well. Siltation is a problem. Silt's going to fill it in. Eventually it becomes useless. Fish can't move up. So they can put fish ladders, but they're not super effective. And then it's limited. So there are limited places on our planet where we can actually use hydroelectric power. And so did you learn the following? Could you pause the video at this point and fill in all the blanks? Let me do that for you. 
It's a renewable form where water flows through a turbine in these systems that could be run of the river impoundment or tidal systems. Some of the advantages, lowers carbon dioxide emissions, increases uh, recreation, and also decreases floods. Disadvantages, siltation disrupts flow, it's limited, and the big thing is it's, it's breaking down the natural flow of the river. And so spawning fish, for example, like salmon can't make their way up. That's hydroelectric power, and I hope that was helpful.